all right in this video it is I'm giving you a glimpse of my workflow not your workflow or adapted from somebody else workflow so basically um, it's the convenience you built to do stuff on computer what you are using and I use some sort of uh, software and to the contrary of the modern generation I, I stick with something what I have chosen to use and it's been a long time so so the software choice was kind of decision which I made many months ago six seven eight years ago and few of them decades old I'm still using those kind of stuff and which reflects uh, my inability to get along with the flashy stuff or shiny stuff you can say so um, few of the software which uh, probably there for ages and I haven't given enough focus so off let off let I mean to say it probably at least four years probably in list term uh, I want to focus on something so I can discover something and uh, that become quite likable not necessarily I am confining myself to the other basic important stuff for over two decades uh, this piece of stuff is quite newly adapted as I say probably four or five years back when I decided to give it a shot in spite of knowing their existence for a long long time and I have been using something else I still do uh, it's still not uh, entirely the stuff of my workflow but uh, uh, if every passing day it, give, it gives me some sort of good feeling about it so and I'm discovering a lot of stuff so all I'm trying to say I let's get things pretty clear one thing I've been using Linux on laptop and desktop for 22 years clear you hardly tried 22 years I first time bought a IBM desktop machine a22p that's a black tower model in year 2000 I remember the date January 15 when the the engineer came to deliver the machine to my house the first thing I did wipe out the other waste comes along pre-built in in the machine and I installed Linux on from that day onwards I never ever look back the machine changes the laptop changes but if from the very first hour it is running Linux but saying all this I'm not trying to be slightest to claim as I know better than you people are there using it so it was an upheaval struggle till today because I'm exclusively using Linux no other thing oh three years back I put a one slice of my disk to FreeBSD it is still there with other Linux distribution I use I do use Gentoo Debian Slackware and sometimes Arch a list for a verbal and very very less usable but uh, Gen 2 
Slack where and Davian are frequently hopped. And those all are having a dedicated partition in my laptop. And it's for a long, long time. So I have a I have an image of those stuff, whatever I have built, I kept it on a separate backup. Whenever I purchase a new machine, I just plug in and do the steam. Within an hour, I get back my old environment. That's how I have been operating for quite some over a decade. So here, I, I'm just trying to give you some sort of uh, workflow related stuff. Uh, which m you might like it or you might not like it it's absolutely up to you but I thought people might take a cue or they could have done this certainly could have done much better with their own understanding and but I thought it good to share with people that's why this video I'm making standing for this thanks for standing for this list long babbling uh, let's get into the first thing I'm I'm lean on to Emacs uh, as I said um, I I put my focus onto it uh, so let's get into it uh, first uh, thing take off your head I am not a developer by any stretch of imagination you have I am exceptionally poor at programming okay so take this out i'm opting for something it doesn't mean i have that bent of mind other people's are there they are much i am a purely operation person who can fix this and that this and that with some reading and writing some that, that's what anyway so uh, this is my max so most of the time when i was sitting in front of my computer i have few specific thing to do not as complicated or as I hate multitasking. Multitasking is a serious kind of shit. It it divert you from focusing on the important thing. If people claim they are multitasking, they are bullshitting it basically. Anyway, so I generally if I look into something, I generally try to focus what to achieve, how to achieve. Mm. So that's how I operate. You people might be operating in different fashion because I have a very limited capacity in my gray cell. So I don't want to hover on or do a lot of stuff at once. So I'm in my in my act, so sometimes I need to see the emails and I use mail indexer and searcher like not much and MU. I have a detailed backlog video in in my channel if you are interested you can go back and have a look at those uh, so for instance if I wanted to look at my not much if I, I bounded a key meta n see this is uh, this is a not much uh, which is a mail searcher and indexer extracted out of my mail mail so different tags are there for different people and operations so it's gives me my workflow is a lot of related with emails uh, there is a several reason for that so if I wanted to see the mails from the st backup store which is getting sync with the upstream mail I I use mu for e if I wanted to see it meta m see this is my mu for e okay so now if I wanted to see uh, my uh, agenda file or something like that uh, control C O see this is my agenda file which I keep updating if I wanted to see the stuff my notes control C and then uh, this is my uh, this is my, my note file I take notes uh, time to time okay so if i if i wanted to if i wanted to see um some source code i can i can open that file here uh something like that um, so 
this is how basically uh, and if I sometime look into the PDF uh, because Emacs is an umbrella of option under one roof so I I don't basically generally hop into so many things at once in spite of having that as I mentioned it many times before in my other videos that I stick with a one window manager that is IT3 i3 for last seven years exclusively and uh, i use vim extensively and i have say, said it twice before in this video already i have i have started to give a focus on emacs for last three four years so and if i wanted to see some other stuff i don't know what i have um okay so i listen to my music uh, i listen to my music uh, on emacs if if i wanted to okay so um so i listen music inside emacs with emms So this is how basically and sometime I reach out for external tool which I feel which is not good enough to see inside Emacs for some reason. The reason probably being dominated I haven't yet discovered how to do those things inside Emacs. That is the prime factor to drive me to search out for other thing on the system. Or I don't feel it is necessary to see it inside Emacs. You can take whatever you like, but those are the two prime factors. That's why I probably reach out to something else on the system itself. Okay, there are several ways to get things I wanted to see. Say, for instance, if I wanted to see movies, I have a keybind and store locations to see movies. So if I wanted to see the status of my of the Linux kernel source tree with Magit uh, or VC. Uh, I use both of them. Okay, so it taking time to open up as I mentioned in my a lot of previous videos that Linux kernel source tree is big. That's why it takes time and my machine is not powerful enough. It's a seven year old ThinkPad X250. So it's showing its age. So, um, so this is how basically I go through my day whenever I'm sitting in front of my computer to do something meaningful, do something useful to me first. You see the trend? I'm, I'm, I do something which will benefit or which will give me a convenience or confidence about my workflow. And if I feel that it is good enough to be generalized and share it with people, then only I upstream it. So it's the me first because it's my workflow to get convenient, to get, get it's not about showing people what I could do or what I can do. Okay, uh, that's a nonsensical notion people generally dish out uh, while, while telling people that this is the thing. So it's all about you being getting comfortable in an environment where you are operating. So if, if something you think that operation can be generalized, uh, you should share with the people, people might get benefited out of it. Okay, so generalization of something you you should consider if you are trying to share it with the public for their benefit which is a good thing to do but but put your thinking cap well ahead of time if we, if you wanted to do that because your strictly stringent confined 
or binded work for doesn't make any sense to other people. Merely showing them on the screen doesn't make any sense. Doesn't have any, it might grease your gray cell for a momentary thing or momentary time, but it will quickly fade away. It doesn't make any sense. To do that good feeling permanently, you need to make things in such a way that people can adapt it and use it in their benefit. So that's the stuff like everyone else. A lot of good people, they are doing it for a long time and people are getting benefited out of that. Most of the people getting benefited out of bluntly because the pers because the people who are sharing it, they are popular. So they never even give it a thought of their own. Just as bluntly copy and start using it. And I can assure you, there is a serious kind of problem by doing that to add up somebody else's workflow without understanding what is your own requirement. So in the first place, you should be critical enough of or good enough to assess what is your actual in requirement. Give it a shit. To whatever the flashy thing you see on the video. Don't care about that. Adapt or look into a is good to follow. Okay? Is it's a bad thing to copy. So I generally uh, before adapting I give it the long thought that whether it really brings something onto the table which I can relish every single day if it doesn't then i simply let it go there is no point being clobbered by somebody else's notion of being convenient right this is solely my understanding you might be hugely differ from my thinking but i thought it should it should be good to let people know that they are the one they have to decide what is good for them. Okay, I do practice it. That's why I'm preaching all this stuff to you. Without practicing, preaching doesn't, it's so feeble, right? It doesn't stand on his own knees. And uh, it, the trend is something like that. This kind, those kind of people who preach a lot, they are ruling the roost these days, which is such a shame. Okay, so anyway, so this is a small video. This is what I do uh, with things. And sometime I wanted to look into my, some specific YouTube channel where I, uh, go and <clears throat> and look into that inside inside at my machine without going into the internet on the browser so I have shown all this stuff in my all my backlog videos I, I thought to amalgamate in a one one video so you get a glimpse that what this fellow is doing what this fellow is up to uh, so it's, I thought this will be a good heads up. So thanks for watching.